Hey guys, it's Al from Altruistic Channel, and I'm kind of just chilling out at home on a nice, cool uh, evening. Uh, and I kind of wanted to address something that kind of has been... Well, I was sitting here kind of meditating, and one of the things that is, that's great about meditating is you kind of touch into the spirit of, of spirit, of something higher than yourself. And one of the things I wanted to address was uh, kind of the imbalances and kind of injustices that we, uh, as leaders, especially spiritual leaders... Um, kind of see day to day. And so when it comes to like injustice in the world, sometimes people may ask general questions like, um, you know, why has God not stepped in or Allah or whoever you believe in? We respect everyone in spirituality, but uh, why did they not step in during the Holocaust? Why did they not do this? Why did they not do that? And so one of the things that I cannot address is I can never speak on behalf of God. I can, you know, I have my own dialogue with with the, who I believe in, um, but I never tell anybody what I believe necessarily. I just represent, you know, the freedom to believe and believe and the expansion that it creates in, in who you are internally. And from within, I, you know, I shine outwards. It's kind of like the thing that I believe in. Um, but when it comes to stuff like that, the, I went through something called a dark night soul. And it made me look at the shadow side of myself. And it made me look at all of the darkest insecurities, fears, um, all the bad things that people say that we're bad about. And and I realized at some point that when you step in on behalf of someone else after after it's been coming for a long time and someone doesn't like stop it themselves, it becomes almost impossible to step in on behalf of them. Um, and, and it becomes a learning lesson of an ultimate kind. But it's not as though there wasn't energy trying to fix something. So instead of like... Um, trying to address it because it's something that's cosmic. It's something that you have to be on your own spiritual journey to, to understand. I decided to kind of just look at some things that, that just realistic things to help people who are kind of in some of the injustice currently playing out. If you're under that shadow that I just wanted to kind of like um, help out with. So one of the biggest inequalities that I've ever seen is the fact that women are still fighting for their right to vote. Well, they have the right to vote, but they're still right fighting for their body and all of this stuff. And even to some degree, the chauvinistic ways of looking at they didn't they didn't deserve a right to vote, like that type of mentality. And so I just because of the way that people misquote God or the belief in God and all of the ramifications that's happening with religion right now, with the, they're kind of like undoing. It's important for everybody to remember that, especially going into 2020, a year of reflection, cosmically, um, that you kind of ground yourself in empowering things. So one of the things that, that really has been sticking at me is this, that women are still having to fight this. And so, especially with the collective consciousness, which is evolved now, like I've said this before, you know, understand where you're at in terms of, yes, there's still bigoted assholes that are in front of you that are like kind of blocking you. But there's also even a greater number of men who have never seen you but anything but equal. And and though, you know what I mean? Like there, there is some positivity in the, in the darkness. And one of the great things that I say about being in an all-dark environment, if you're like in a dark night soul, the great thing about it is that you can only see light, follow the light. So in that way, what I wanted to say is that there's incredible injustice there where women fight uh, are fighting for still their rights and for for to feel the, like the scales tip in their favor. And so at this time, I just wanted to say a couple things. Like when it comes to that, and if you're lost in that moment, because it is true, it, like they are dealing with injustice. The thing to remember is that there is an army of heaven or, or, or God or whatever you believe in that is not only behind you, but probably in a state of still a little bit of, of concern about the way that their words have been used against against their own people. First of all, God is all about equality, and if you believe in the collective consciousness, you know that the male, uh, the male energy and the female energy are to be balanced in order to ascend. It's, it's part of the process of, of, of evolution in general, because if you don't understand the concept of how that, that works out, then you can't really help the cosmic order expand and expand and expand, right? Like it's an evolution. It's not like a, a you're not going backwards, we're going forwards. And so if you're a woman and you've ever been under the impression that God ever demoted women, which was a long term story about Adam saying that, you know, make sure that she's subservient. That is a human addition. That is not a God sentence. How do we know? Because God made you. God made you equal. And how do we know you were made equal? Because there's no title that came with you. It's not tattooed to your ass. 
It's something that human beings put on each other as a form of suppression. So don't accept that any longer. Accept it for me on the holidays. You are exactly equal and are destined to be something incredible because you're not a female. You are a person. And there's an entire world that's waiting for you to, uh, to really accept that and to stop letting the bigoted assholes cloud your judgment. It's just an illusion. God's right. He's right here. He's waiting for you. I'm, I'm, I'm not anything special. It's just something that you need to understand, especially now. You know, the year of 2020 is going to be a year of reflection and humanity is going to have to deal with a lot of its own bullshit. But when it comes to you as an individual, understand that you may be asked now to not be a woman, but to be a person. And in order to do that, you have to understand that the world sees you as equal. And I cannot stress this enough from what 2020, like it's just a revolution that you need to have within yourself, I think, to understand that no matter what you perceive around you, look for the light, look for the people like even me, just something that you have to hear the message and somehow understand it in my eyes or whatever it is that you need to understand now. You have never been anything unequal. You have always been equal. You are the counterpart to the male, male, female, yin, yang. There is nothing about you that is subservient and nor need it be. If your man <clears throat> is not able to, stay, to rise up to meet your expectations, then find another man. But, you know, and then also like, don't put up with a chauvinistic asshole uh, uh, boss. If you're introduced as Mrs. So-and-so, as opposed to your name, then look for other characteristics and follow the light. Like if the light it shows that there, there's a problem there, then you can't unknow that. So find another job. Start supporting yourself in the sense that you know that you're worth every bit as much as men and stop fighting for it and just make it happen. I know it's easier said than done, but it all starts with you hearing from men that we never have seen you. Oh, there's two generations, Gener Generation X, and, generate, and the millennials have never seen you as anything but equal. Because otherwise we can't get to the other things that are going on in society too, which is now like there's an entire race, uh, entire race, there's a whole, a whole generation of men who have never seen an actual father figure. And all they've ever heard is negative experience about the male dynamic now. And so that doesn't empower women, that disempowers women because it disempowers men. It's, it's, a, it's like I was looking back and forth. But none of this can be even discussed because... You need to understand first that you are equal. You're not better. You're not worse. You are, in God's eyes, a reflection of God. So own that. And I just wanted to say that. like, It's just something that I think that just every woman needs to hear that. You have never and never, even, even the Bible is wrong on that. And you can tell because the, the Bible has been changed. The original Bible from what I've researched was Lilith, and Lilith was equal. Whatever the, the, the dynamic was there that changed it, it's not, it's not God who did that. That's a human being that decided to speak on behalf of God. And notice I don't speak on behalf of God. I speak on behalf of, of my interpretation of what I've read. <clears throat> or, you know, I'm, I'm never going to speak on behalf of something that is an internal monologue when a lot of people don't even have that monologue on. But if what's stopping you from finding your truth in life and to take the empowerment and to step up to who you're going to be in the future, and if that's because you have a thing that you think that God is chauvinistic, please understand that's not God. That is a man. And his little weenie got in the way of your rights. So here, we're telling you, take back your rights. Stop debating these assholes. Let go of the illusion because there's an entire race of people. I keep saying race. Um, an entire group of people that are literally kind of like at this point going, girl, we got you. We, why are you still just let, let it go? And it's not letting go of your rights. It's letting go of the fight in order to embrace the new world that's waiting for you. In order to change things sometimes, you can't beat a dead horse. No matter how stupid and small their penis is, you're not going to convert that level of stupidity. So the best thing we can do is spring into action together with you knowing that you have the right and knowing that you are equal, and knowing that you that we have your back, and there's no question, just tell us, when you guys, here's the thing, if you guys are still arguing back and forth within which is better, going to work or raising your child at home, the answer is neither is better, it's equal. So stop fighting with each other. If you don't believe in abortion, don't have one. If you believe in abortion, you're not looking forward to having one, so it's just a statement of fact, it's a right. And for any woman who is subserviently 
dealing with a husband who's a chauvinistic asshole, then yes, she's probably going to agree that she has secondary rights. That's her battle, not yours. And it's definitely not ours. We got major problems going on in the world that we need to address. And they're affecting your children in our future. And if we even have one. So take this as something that you need to hear because it, it hurts my heart to keep seeing you fight for something that's already given to you. They're just clouding your judgment so that you don't hear the message. We got you. We got you. God's got you. Allah's got you. Whoever you believe in. It is the state of man that alters things. It is not the state of God. It's not, reli it's not God's house in religion that's corrupt. It's the religious organization attached to it made of men. It's not you. It's not you. It's not me. It's not God. It literally is a point now where, you know, we're going to have to start standing up for God or for Allah or for you or for us. Because at this point, everybody just thinks that they can get away with whatever the fuck they want. People are using political correctness in order to mandate their ethics and morals as a way of being a Bible. No. We need to return to truth. And the truth is, you've never been anything but equal. Take back your power. Walk away from the situation and start working for someone like me or someone that has the, who understands that they're looking at their mother and that they are representative of the father, and then we can start fixing this shit. But I just wanted you to know that. Happy holidays.